Hey guys, happy Friday! Woo! This is my first It's a Wrap Friday of 2011. Yay! I've just been busy. Yesterday was my first day of community college and it was, um, it was awkward, you know. I was kind of alone. My classes were alright, the teachers were cool and stuff. I mean, there was some awkward teacher. I have a teacher with ADD because she was trying to give us assignments, but she just kept talking about other things. I was just like, what? Then I have a speech class that's like two hours and 30 minutes. And I hate speaking in front of class if I'm not doing like a monologue or something. So it was kind of awkward. But um, yeah, there's a lot of cute guys there. So I'm glad that I picked the campus that I attend school. So whatever. it's a wrap Friday. Yeah. I didn't really follow up on a lot of stuff because I've just been busy trying to get ready for school and all that crap, so... <sighs> so, I guess Kim Kardashian is sporting, like, this new hairstyle with braids. I don't know if she still have it, but, like, she has, like, conrolls or, you know, like, braids with her hair and stuff like that. It looks gross. But then again, Kim Kardashian is gross. But then again, I don't know what I'm talking about because she's, like, one of the pretty people, I guess. Oprah launched her new channel the own network it was oprah wimpy network it took away discovery health channel so like we can't watch those like new stuff about like health things that would educate us about these health stories and everything so a lot of people are upset with it um, and i haven't watched the own network yet or i'm repeating network because it's own network o w n i haven't watched the own channel yet and I don't know if it's good or not, but I mean, it has my people like Dr. Oz and Dr. Phil, one of my favorite people in the world. On Yahoo, there's this interesting list that I bumped into today, and it's called, uh, it was like, Things Babies Born in 2011 Won't Know About. So I like wrote this whole list, and it's like a whole bunch of crap. So they won't know anything about videotapes, the separation of work and home. They won't know anything about magazine, books, or newspapers. Speaking of newspapers, they won't know anything about the newspaper classification or classified movie rental stores like Blockbuster which is a I, you know I'm kind of sad I kind of like Blockbuster you know you go there and you get to like buy um, whatever DVD you want to watch or whatever and then you like if you need some popcorn or candy they have it like right there it was cute watches I don't even wear one but then it always get broken paper maps wired phones the yellow and white pages fax machine, which I still use to fax things, right over there. Commercials on TV and radio, so basically I guess commercials are going to still be on internet and stuff, or on their phones or whatever, but um, they won't know what a com um, TVs on commercials and radio would be like, and, and I'm telling you, I love TV commercials. They're like my favorite thing in the world. Some commercials are hilarious watch it. just one day just sit down and watch a couple commercials some of them are annoying and stupid but some of them are so funny forgotten friends like I have friends that I have forgotten or they probably forgotten me and stuff and you don't have you can't reunite with that person like especially this person like used to be your life but they're forgotten now but the babies born now would never have that problem because of Facebook and all those other stuff and emails and internet and stuff where they can actually find their forgotten friend and there's no such thing as forgotten friend for the future. CDs, which I still use, believe it or not. Film cameras, which were annoying, you know, you have to get the 35mm and you just put it in there and then you're like, okay, and then you click it and then you have to take it out and then you have to have another one. Those were kind of cool though. Handwritten letters which I still write handwritten letters. You know, I like to write a letter. I feel like it's more personal when you actually take the time to write it instead of just typing it or texting. And hiding. You know, like back in the days, you used to like not pick up your phone so they people could think that you're dead or something or missing and stuff like that or sleeping. But like now, people will know what you're doing or where you are and stuff. And like, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Creepy, 1984, Big Brother is watching you. Now, music news, because I usually do music, billboard stuff. Um, number one is Fireworks by Katy Perry. And Following Behind Her is Grenade by Bruno Mars. Since it's Friday and you probably have friends, unlike me, you'll be going to the movie theaters, right? Well, 
The season of The Witch starring Nicolas Cage is coming out today. And then you can catch other things like Little Fockers or whatever movie came out weeks ago or something. That's still showing. So that's basically it. Um, in political news, the Republicans are like ready to like cut the health care bill that Obama imposed or whatever like in the machete pieces and Nikki Pelosi gave the gravel or whatever to the, the crybaby guy. I keep forgetting his name but he's like a crybaby. So you know that was it for It's a Rap Friday. I'd like to thank my 11 or 12 subscribers. Not really. I keep they keep telling me 11 then they keep telling me 12 but you know thank you my under 13 subscribers you guys are following me up and watching my videos hopefully you know and um thanks for all the friend requests that i get and stuff and friends i have what 42 45 friends now and oh my god jimmy Campbell accepted my friend request on youtube i don't know if that means anything but it kind of means something to me i'm still waiting for shane dawson but you know it's okay it's okay but I have basically all my favorite people as friends on YouTube. I will have their subscription because, you know, I'm lame. You don't want to subscribe to someone lame. But I subscribe to them and they just make me happy. So one day I'll be up there. One day I'll be one of those people that, you keep, that everybody wants to watch, right? So comment. You can leave me a video response telling me I'm dumb and stupid or funny or crazy. Comment or like, favorite, subscribe, tell your friends, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Creepy, 1984, Big Brother is watching you.